I've manifested this apartment after seeing it on Pinterest. I manifested Gustavo a new set of aesthetic dog bowls after his last set broke. How hard can it be for me to pull together this aesthetic pampas grass Christmas tree? I've manifested a lot crazier things. My Amazon delivery of the pampas grass actually came in earlier than expected. So we're gonna get back to making this tree look a little bit more like Christmas. This is where we are at right now. And um, I mean, considering where we started, where this was giving complete turkey vibes. I can feel your judgment, sweetheart. I can totally feel your judgment right now. It's completely warranted. I have no clue what I'm doing. But we're gonna keep going because we don't have a choice. And I think I may have told someone I so I'm gonna do this. Okay. I have high hopes now that I figured out the right way to stick the pampas grass in to give it this swinging branch aesthetic. It's starting to give Christmas tree. No more Thanksgiving turkey. So once I have more stuff to add to it, it'll be even more beautiful. I would say that we are currently not as bad as we started off yesterday. That's not really saying much, but it can only go up from here. Gus wants to be involved and he doesn't like when he's not involved, so we can make room for Gustavo. Let's see what we're working with. Oh my gosh, why does this look so small? I probably should have fluffed this out before I did this instead of having it just wait in the box for hours, but what are you gonna do? Okay, what is this? Baba, Baba. Thank you. I appreciate you trying to help mommy, but like, I don't know if this is really helping you, sweetheart. How the heck can you get this off? Oh my god. Literally, everything has to be so difficult. Okay. This is experiencing some technical difficulties with this. Where are you supposed to get this apart? Okay. This is not off to a great start. I can't even get this thing open. We finally got it open, but that was a struggle. These are definitely, as I had predicted, a lot darker than the ones that we have been using. Just see how these look. I'm just hoping they're magically just gonna be like, <sighs> anti-climatic. I should have pulled up these, but whatever. Okay, please be great quality. As I'm doing this, I'm gonna start fluffing these out. And I'm gonna move this down so that you can actually see like what I'm doing a little bit better. That should be a little bit better now. Good, I think that you can hopefully see. Okay, this is definitely crooked now. This is good now. I think you guys can see, you don't see my face. Or you know what I look like, you can see Gus. This is the tree right now. So let's start getting these babies fluffy, fluffed out. Yeah, definitely um, already can see that this is a lot more of shedding than the ones that I dealt with yesterday. These are different brands and these t these already are a lot different types of pampas than the ones I dealt with, but these are promising. These look like there's a lot more body to them. So this makes me feel really good. Um, probably should have gotten the hairspray, but you know, we're just gonna go with it. Uh, we don't have hairspray currently. So we're just gonna make these work. So yeah, there's definitely a lot more volume with these and these are definitely um, a lot more <laughs> shedding going on as well. I guess it's a trade-off. It's like you get more volume, but these shed more. So I'm hoping that this is enough to kind of give it the volume that I need and I don't need to buy any more. What we got, the new stuff. It's actually, I mean, it's a lot. This feels like a tree right here. Let's get to work. I already had different colors going on, so now the tree overall is going to be a lot darker, which is fine. Let's start with the ones that have a lot of like fluff. I'm gonna start putting these to the bottom. I start putting these in. Oh, okay. Already not off to a great start. I forgot. I'm supposed to cut these on an angle so that they have a jagged, like pointed edge so it makes it easier to stick into the foam. So let's do that. I definitely think that if I fluff these out, if I had more time, 
this would be, and I can go back and just like fluff them out, but I, there's definitely a lot more volume to these than the ones that I already added. So that is encouraging. And there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just like plugging in the areas that there are gaps and need more volume. starting to look like the way it's supposed to. I definitely need to fill in a little bit more in the center part, but I am really starting to like it a lot. This was a complete not fatal and that from Uselin. This is good. I'm actually really, really impressed with how good this is turning out. It's a lot of work, but definitely got the right amount of stuff and I hate when people do these how-to videos and they don't actually link the exact materials that they're using so that when you try to go find it yourself you're just like this doesn't even look the same I'm gonna link the exact materials that I'm using so that you guys can go do this yourself this is looking so good I'm so glad I didn't give up <laughs> that was close yesterday I'm starting to get a treat and not just Christmas tree, this is starting to get vibey Christmas tree, which is what we're going for. So that is a major one. This is so wonderful. I love it. Absolutely love it. Look how aesthetic this is. Oh my gosh. These came in to save the day. I am, wow. Would I do this again? Yes, because I know that it turned out so beautifully, so yes, I would do it again, for sure. And it's something outside my comfort zone, so it's always good to do and try new things. So yeah, I would do this again, absolutely. And now I'm getting ready for my live manifestation session with my membership community. That starts at 6.30. I'm so excited. It is our final live session of the year. So we're gonna be reflecting on 2022 and also setting our intentions for 2023. And of course, I have none other than my Saqqara manifestation candle. Before I get started with the session, I'm gonna write a little intention for this session and also for my Q1 of 2023. My theme for all of 2023 is going to be the word joy because I want to have way more joy in my life. But my theme for Q1 of 2023 is the word surrender because I'm very type A. I like to control things. Even with manifesting, I still have not fully let go and allow things to just flow and happen. I planted the seeds that I need to be confident that I've done the work, it's time to just release and surrender and allow things to just work themselves out. So I'm actually going to write the word surrender just so that I remember this. Roll this up and put it into my little intention drawer. Intention manifestation, just affirmations, gratitude, it's all of the things and it's aesthetic, obviously. And we are done. We had such a great session. Just wrapped. I need to add some more stuff to it, but it's really starting to come together. And I feel a lot better about myself about it now. So a few more pieces to add. So I'm going to go do that right now. Now I'm just going to string some fairy lights. Oh my gosh, this work? Are you kidding me? What a fail. Oh 
don't think it worked. Let's try this again. Oh my, okay. Okay, good. I see things happening, I see movement. And I swore I saw something. Now I'm like questioning my sanity. What the heck? Okay, this was a fail. This is a complete fail. Let's see if this does the trick. And after all of this work. Oh, thank gosh. I was really about to cry, but we're good. Look how beautiful this is. So beautiful. We did that. I'm so happy I did this little DIY project. It turned out so well. And even if it didn't, it was so much fun for me to be creative in a new way. And thanks to Vlogmas, I've just had the freedom to really try a lot of new things that I normally wouldn't have done. And I'm having so much fun with it. Not everything is gonna be perfect, but I did it. And that experience and going through the process of actually planning and actually seeing it through, is a success for me. So even if this tree didn't turn out to be amazing and look as aesthetic as it did, just the process of me actually going to Michael's and doing this whole arts and crafts project, regardless of the outcome, was a win. And that was really fun for me. Something else that this experience has taught me is that whenever I'm procrastinating, nine times out of 10, there's a real reason. An example of that is this is dog food and water bowls shattered a few weeks ago and I had it on my to-do list for weeks, maybe even over a month now to purchase him a new dog bowl for Christmas and Christmas is next week and I clearly haven't even done it. But that also was something that I was procrastinating on. I didn't know why. But one of our favorite dog lifestyle brands reached out to send us a PR package and the items that they offered us, I procrastinated on again because nothing really jumped out at me. But when I wasn't distracted by 20 million different things that were on my to-do list and I was able to really review the email, I saw that they said that in addition to the things that they had proposed, if there was something else that maybe caught our eye, let them know. So I went to the website and of course, picked out two aesthetic perfect dog bowls that be absolutely perfect for us it matches our home decor and then i got back to them a few days later and they said wonderful we'll get it for you i say all of this to say that this isn't a perfect science there are just some times where i'm just not trying to do something that i need to do but i'm a very intuitive person and if something isn't sitting right with me even if it seems like it should it seems like it's a great opportunity it should just automatically jump on it if my intuition is telling me to kind of sit and hit pause, I need to pay attention. Not everything needs to be an immediate yes. There are some times where I need to kind of sit with things and assess why there is that hesitation. Because now I have a vibey Christmas tree and I'm so glad I didn't waste money buying one that would not match with our apartment aesthetic. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. We'll see you guys tomorrow and until then, you already know what to do. Go binge all my shorts and all of the earlier episodes of Vlogmas. See you tomorrow.